a soft piece of cotton with you you will explain the patient that I will touch your eyes with a little cotton touch but I will gently touch it so that it will not hurt if you touch the cotton in the, in the cornea of the uh, patient and he starts blinking that means the corneal reflex is intact then you need to check the ophthalmic the maxillary and the mandibular branches in terms of sensations बेटा अपनी आंखें बंद कर लें आपने मुझे बताना है कोई चीज आपको चुभ रही है या नहीं चुभ रही है यानी टच हो रही है यानी महसूस हो रही है नहीं हो रही ठीक है बेटा बेटा कुछ महसूस हुआ है इधर महसूस हुआ है इधर महसूस हुआ है इधर हुआ है इधर हुआ है इधर हुआ है क्या दोनों साइडों पे बराबर महसूस हुआ है गुड सो इफ द पेशेंट सेज दैट ही कैन ही कैन फील दैट समथिंग हैज बीन टचड एंड इट इज इक्वल ऑन बोथ साइड्स दैट मींस दैट द ट्राइजेमिनल मैक्सिलरी एंड द मैंडिबुलर पार्ट द ट्राइजेमिनल नर्व दे आर इंटैक्ट सो वी हैव वी आर डन विद द सेंसिटिव पार्ट ऑफ द ट्राइजेमिनल नर्व नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द मोटर पार्ट ऑफ द ट्राइजेमिनल नर्व इन मोटर पार्ट यू हैव टू फील द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द मैजेटर मसल्स बेटा अपने दांतों को ऐसे करना So, you will ask the patient to clench his teeth. When the patient clenches, when the patient clenches his teeth, then you will feel the contraction of the mesenteric muscles in your palms. That means that the mesenteric muscles are working good. Then you need to check the pterygoids. Beta, open your mouth. Open it. 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 Open Do the passive movements, then you do the active movements with slight resistance. But I'll just hold your hand. Now move forward. Very good. Either take it. Right side move forward. Move forward. Right side will take it. Very good. Now left side will take it. Very good. So you have checked the trigoid muscles, and the last is jaw jaw reflex. Normally jaw reflex is not present. It, if it is present, it shows bulbar palsy. So in order to do the jaw reflex, you have to place the thumb. On the chin of the patient gently, with a mukul, mukul wale, gently place the thumb on the chin of the patient. Strike with the hammer on your thumb. The mouth will not close. If the mouth will close, that means the jaw reflex is present, and jaw reflex indicates bulbar palsy or pseudo bulbar palsy. So we have done with the examination of the fifth cranial nerve. Now examination of the seventh cranial nerve. In order to check the examination of the seventh cranial nerve. You need to start from the forehead and you need to go downwards. But I'll put the bed to the torso. Better, Mary Hart, the other day, Upper Mary Hart, the Upper, the Upper, Upper, Upper. You will see whether there is frowning on the forehead or not. Better, don't you have a bunker? You will see whether both the eyes are closed or not. बेटा मुंह में हवा भर ले ऐसे अब आंखें खोल ले बेटा मुंह में हवा भरे दोनों साइडों पे हवा भर ले शायद ओके देन यू विल सी इज देर एनी डेविएशन ऑफ द एंगल ऑफ द माउथ टू वन साइड और इट इज अ नॉर्मल ओके एंड देन यू विल सी बेटा दांत देखा है शो मी योर टी बेटा मैं दोनों साइड पे सर गोशी करूंगा मुझे बताना है किसी एक साइड पे बहुत ज्यादा आवाज तो नहीं आ रही आपको ओके सो दैट मींस दैट द नर्व टू स्टेबिलियस मसल इज इंटैक्ट व्हेन द नर्व टू स्टेबिलियस मसल इज इंजर्ड देन द साउंड विल नॉट बी डैम्पन्ड द फंक्शन ऑफ द स्टेबिलियस मसल इज टू डैम्पन द साउंड इफ द नर्व टू स्टेबिलियस मसल इज डैमेज द साउंड विल नॉट बी डैम्पन्ड एंड ऑन दैट साइड यू विल हैव हाइपर एक्यूसिस हल्की सी आवाज बहुत ऊंची सुनाई देगी It is to be remembered that if the facial nerve, the right side facial nerve is damaged, then the division of the mouth will be towards the left side. And in upper motor neuron lesion, the upper half of the face is spared. Okay. Now the eighth cranial nerve. In examination of the eighth cranial nerve, it is important to remember the Rennes and the Weber. So I don't have the tuning fork right now, but this is a thing which mimics like tuning fork. So let's uh, use it as tuning fork. Uh, 
in doing the Rennes test, you have to strike a tuning fork on the on the elbow on your elbow, and then he will explain the patient. In fact, he will explain the first. Beta, me ye cheez yaha par varunga, par aap kaan ke saath yaha lagaunga. Aapko awaaz aayegi. Jab aapko awaaz aana band ho jayegi, to aap mujhe batayenge. Fir me yehi cheez aapke yaha par rakunga, par aap se puchunga ki aapko awaaz aari hai ya nahi aari. So first of all, I will strike it on my elbow. Then I will place it near the. Beta, cross it idhar ho jayega. Charge. I will place it uh, near the ear. It is to be remembered that the tuning fork should be placed like this. That both its its prongs should have a direction like this, so that the sound waves go like this. If you will place like this, the sound waves will go like this. So first I will strike it on my elbow. Then I will place it at the ears. Or me, बच्चे से कहूँगा कि जब आवाज़ आना बंद हो जाए तो मुझे बताना। जब बच्चा मुझे बताएगा कि आवाज़ बंद हो गई है, तो फिर मैं उसके मैस्टर्ड प्रोसेस पे रखूंगा अब ये से पूछूंगा क्या आवाज आ रही है अगर वो कहे कि हाँ अब भी मुझे आवाज आ रही है इट मीन द बोन कनेक्शन इज बेटर एयर कनेक्शन क्योंकि जब उसे एयर में आना आवाज जब ईयर में रखा था तो ये जो आवाज आ रही थी ये एयर की आवाज थी जब एयर में आवाज आना बंद हो गई है और बोन पर रखने के बाद पर फिर भी उसे आवाज आ रही है इट मीन द बोन कंडक्शन इज बेटर द एयर कंडक्शन द बोन इज स्टिल Getting the noise, even when the ear is not getting the noise, the ears are not getting the noise. That means the bone condition is better than the ear condition. Normally, the Rennes test is positive. Normally, the Rennes test is positive. We all have a positive Rennes test. When the bone condition becomes better than the ear condition, means conductive hearing loss, then the Rennes test is negative. If you, if I say the Rennes is negative, that means that there is conductive hearing loss. Now, come to the Weber's. Normally, the Weber is lit centralized, centralized. I will, I will strike the tuning fork on my elbow, and I will place the tuning fork right at the vertex, and I will expect the sound to go equally on both sides. I will explain to the child. कि बेटा ये आवाज दोनों साइडों पे बराबर आएगी अगर आपको एक साइड पे आवाज ज्यादा आए तो मुझे आपने बताना है इफ द चाइल्ड सेज कि मुझे राइट right साइड पे आवाज ज्यादा आ रही है इट मींस द वेबर इज लेटरलाइज टुवर्ड्स द राइट साइड नाउ नॉर्मली द वेबर इज सेंट्रलाइज ऑन बोथ नॉर्मली द वेबर इज सेंट्रलाइज इफ द वेबर इज नॉट सेंट्रलाइज इट इज लेटरलाइज टू वन साइड देन वी नीड टू डिसाइड व्हिच इज दैट साइड Is it the better ear? Is or is it the diseased ear? Is it the conductive hearing loss? Or is it the sensory neural hearing loss? Now you need to remember that in sensory neural hearing loss, the Weber will be lateralized towards the better ear, the normal ear, and in conductive hearing loss, the Weber will be lateralized towards the diseased ear. I repeat, in sensory hearing. In sensory neural hearing loss, the Weber will be lateralized towards the better ear, and in conductive hearing loss, the Weber will be lateralized towards the diseased ear. Now, the ninth cranial nerve and the tenth cranial nerve. The ninth and tenth cranial nerve they are tested simultaneously. There is an R test, there is a cuff test. There is you you, you need to check the. Speech of the patient, and you need to check the nasal twang of the patient. Beta, apna naam batayen. Nizam ali. So the voice is normal. The voice is not having a nasal twang. So now you will ask the patient to open the mouth and to say ah. This is the ah test. Beta, bada se mukhole aur kahe ah. So normally the uvula moves centrally. The uvula moves uh, centrally. It doesn't go to the right or left. This is normal. If the uvula moves to the left side, it means that the nerve of the right side is being damaged. Zuban saad deti hai, uvula saad nahi deta. This is a mnemonic to remember. Where will the uvula and the tongue will go? The tongue will go to in in the same direction of the nerve, and the uvula will go in the opposite direction of the nerve. So I have listened to the. स्पीच द आर्टेस्ट देन द कफ टेस्ट बेटा मुंह पे हाथ रखें मुंह पे हाथ रखें खांसी करें दिस इज द कफ टेस्ट 
in damage to the ninth and tenth canal of the cough will be bovine. It's not like you guy has to do it. So, our test, cough test, speech test, and then I will ask the child, I will, I will like him to give uh, some drink, I will like to give him some water, the child will drink the water. And if the water comes out from the nose, there is nasal regurgitation, and that also means that the ninth and tenth cranial nerve are <coughs> damaged. So, the ninth and tenth cranial nerve, they are tested simultaneously. <coughs> then is the eleventh cranial nerve. In the examination of the 11th cranial nerve, I will check the trapezius muscle and the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Sit up. I will take both of you on your hands. You take both of you on your hands. Sharp ash. This one is the right side. Very good. Now we are doing this. Up and down. Up and down. So this is, just take away. This is the checking of the trapezius muscle. Now I will check the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So if the child is able to move towards the Left side, it means the right sternocleidomastoid muscle is working. And if the child is able to move towards the right side, it means that the left sternocleidomastoid muscle is working. Beta, apne left side, is side, is side move karna. Very good. I will feel the contraction of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Beta, apne is side to gardan karna. Is side to gardan karna. Karen, shout. So I will feel the contraction of the left sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is this was, this is the examination of eleventh cranial nerve. Now I will move towards the twelfth cranial nerve. Let me take more chance. Ashu, pull out the shaft. Okay, relax. Yes, move forward, brother. First of all, I will ask the patient to open the mouth, and I will check whether there is there any fasciculations keeping the tongue inside. Students, क्या गलती करते हैं? जुबान एकदम बाहर निकाल। पहले जुबान अंदर रखकर fasciculations देख ले। so I will check whether there are some fasciculations or not. Then I will ask the patient to take the tongue out. Zuban, beta, bahar nikal lo. Ab beta, zuban, idhar leke ho. Ab beta, zuban, idhar leke ho. Ab zuban, upar lagao. Kaho lala. When the patient says lala, the tongue will automatically touch the palate. Okay. Ab idhar lagao. Ab idhar lagao. Okay. So all the tongue movements are normal. This will conclude the examination of the cranial nerves. Thank you so much.